if you are a collector of the most important and rarest Paribas in the world, this one belongs with you. You are looking at a Pariba tourmaline that has that unheated aqua-like feature. This looks like material. It's almost like an aqua amoeba as opposed to a Pariba. It is perfect. It is flawless. The stone weighs in at 24.38 carats, but it doesn't only have the blue, but it has the green within the crystal structure, sort of like a seafoam blue Caribbean green color coming together. It sparkles like a diamond. The cutting is perfect. This is the only Pariba I have ever had in history of this color. It's 24.38 carat flawless. It used to weigh 54 carats. Cat has cut it to a diamond like cut. It is perfect. It is unbelievable. The mount has a tremendous amount of D flawless diamonds around it, but I tell you, when you put this on your neck and you walk into a room, this is all everyone sees. And what's important to recognize about this stone, it's the only one of that color type I have ever seen, and that's why I've collected it. It's in the natural form as well. So what happens is, because of its clarity and its purity, this stone absorbs light. So if you're in candlelight dinner, it will suck in that light and disperse it off of the fat the back facets if it hits sunlight it explodes like a diamond you 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 will be blown away with the dispersion of this stone old school stone discovered in 2003 prior to the announcement of the Pariba deposit in Mozambique I was in Nampula area they were mining in the rivers which is what they usually do to find aquamarine to find normal tourmalines and there it came the glower a stone that glowed it glowed like a blue diamond I'd never seen a tourmaline that glowed in the rough form like that and they pulled it out and I brought it back and I did testing and I checked it out and I realized wow we have seen something discovered in Mozambique that has never been discovered in Africa before copper bearing tourmaline pariba something that is unique something that mother nature does very very rarely so I went crazy, went to Mozambique, continued to buy, but that is the only one ever discovered of this color. Truly collectible, belongs in a very, very important collection or a museum.